Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a $20 meal for about 12 people. Yeah. $20 meal for 12 people. Because that's what I had to do. Um, I've got my... I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Okay. Turn it down. Uh, we are making... Shredded barbecued chicken sliders. Mm hmm. Made my own barbecue sauce. It's a play off of my brother's barbecue sauce. It's not his. Now, in my opinion, my humble opinion, okay, my brother Lynn Charles Parrot makes the best barbecue sauce in the world this is not his barbecue sauce all right for one he won't give me the recipe two um it's just what i could come up with at the last minute yeah so i'm gonna do that and um we're gonna shred some chicken so i'm 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 gonna need somebody to calculate the prices and you can determine if this is gonna be under 20 bucks i promise you it will be be right back Okay. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm going to do it with a Publix roasted chicken. <laughs> I know. My niece Ashley, what's up, baby? <laughs> So, um, I bought this chicken from Publix. How much was it? Because I, I want to make sure I, I stay under $20. So, when y'all get ready to have those football parties, you can do something that's super good on the cheap. Okay? This Publix chicken cost me $5.66. Let's just round it up to $6. Alright? So, add that. $6. Alright, the other ingredients I have for my sauce are just ingredients I already have. So I'm not going to tell you that. It's hot sauce, it's red wine vinegar, ketchup, chili garlic paste, a little horseradish, spicy mustard, honey, garlic powder. Oh, and syrup. And two teaspoons of sugar. Um... The bread is my calculator working. Somebody ought to be calculating. So I, I got the bread from the bakery at Publix. So we're going to take that out. And then we'll 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 butter it, but not with butter. Don't worry. It, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Okay. I'ma just do one right now. So 12. 12 buns come in a pack. It was a dollar Two dollars. Add that up. All right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh, I got some new knives, y'all. Yes, look at that. Ooh, wee. Yeah. All right. So let me find. I'm trying to find the bread knife. That ain't it. That ain't it. That's it right there. See? So your bread knife has these little um, ridges along the side. So all I'm going to do is just cut my bread along the ridge. And... Um, and then I'll be ready to do my chicken in it. Now I've got my griddle out again tonight because that's what I'm going to ooh, do my chicken, my um, my toppings on for my barbecue chickens. Um, all right. So if you get a really good knife like I got the other day, um, then you'll be able to open up your bread buns like this. Okay, so I got my buns, but I split them 
all the way open. Split them open. And I'm probably going to do like some, I don't know, some carrots or something on the griddle. So I'm going to start the carrots now, okay? Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you for joining me here on Facebook. Um... Uh, if you are just coming in, hang on one second, I'm going to grab my, if you're just coming on, um, I'm doing a quick $20 or under $20 meal for game day, Friday nights, whatever it is that you guys do. So I, I rinse off my carrots, I'm going to add a little bit of pink salt. Uh huh. A little pink salt and olive oil to use the the light olive oil. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Toss. Okay. So I got my um my carrots some olive oil and some salt. I'm just going to let it drain because I want to get that water out after I rinse it. And now I'm going to pull this chicken. So all I want, I want to shred this chicken a little bit so that I can make almost like a, I don't know, I guess a barbecue texture or something. Got my onion here. I'm going to do a little onion. I want some shredded onion on top of my on top of my slider. So these are shredded chicken, shredded barbecue chicken sliders. Okay, a very quick, cheap, easy Friday night recipe. All right, you don't have to break the bank. Uh, and I certainly was not going to. There are some things I like to splurge on. I really do, it, even in food. Um, but tonight was just one of those nights I happened to have $20 in my wallet. And I was like, okay, this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to do. All right, so I got that. I'm going to, instead of using, I've got, remember that butter sauce? If you were with me last week, I can't assume that you were, but if you were um, with me and my sister Cheryl last week, you would see where I did a butter sauce for our shrimp. And in that butter sauce is ooh, all kinds of spices and lots of butter, some broth, you name it. So I used some of that, but I also added some more butter. Um, so when I butter the inside of my bread for my sliders, I'm not going to use that butter necessarily. I'm going to use some mayo. Use a little bit of mayo. Ah! You don't need a whole lot. Um, mayonnaise, whatever kind you like. I like Dukes for some, there was a time where I didn't like Dukes, but the older I get, I find that I like something a little less sweet than the Miracle Whip, so I use Dukes. Um, so I spread the Dukes on the inside of my buns, and I'm going to actually brown that. Okay, so turn, I've got my griddle on here. That's my red onions. I'm going to put my There we go. Ah! I am so glad that you guys did, decided to join me for another night. Another night in Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen. Um, 
after I finish, well, let me slide these onions over just a little bit. I'm going to turn this up some. Get the bread going. And I'm going to put my carrots because I think that the carrots, um, all I did on the carrots was a little salt. And you know what? I think I'm going to add some more spices on my carrots though. I got some basil leaves, some dried basil. Put some dried basil on there. Give that a toss and I'm going to lay it on my griddle. Okay. All right. Move that over. This is going to be good and quick and easy. And like I said, it's dinner in a pinch. Doesn't break the bank. All right. Because cause who can do that right now? Who can? I can't. I cannot. Uh, I just wanted some something colorful on the side. Oh, and I made a pasta salad. Hey, Dan. <laughs> so I made a pasta salad. Er the reason why I made the pasta salad earlier today was because I needed to marinate the um, the tomatoes and the onions and all the goodies that go in the pasta salad. So, if, if somebody makes a pasta salad and does not marinate the goodies inside of a nice dressing, then it's not going to have a lot of flavor. So, I wanted to make sure I had a lot of flavor. So, um, let me show you my pasta salad. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Mm, it should be ready to eat now. So I did my pasta salad. I put some Parmesan, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano on top, and I might even do ooh a little some bacon bits in there. Oh my gosh, girl, 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 girl. Okay. Thick chicks who cook are often very excited about bacon and cheese and such. So this is my pasta salad. I'm going to give it a toss. And um, we going to let this baby do what it do. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh. sir, 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 I've got broccoli in here. I bought a fresh ear of corn from Publix. And, um, took that off. Where's my spatula? And with my really good knives that I bought, I told you, I bought a whole set of these Crofton knives. All sorts of sizes. This is bread knife. But I bought some other stuff. Um, cause I got tired of using them old raggedy knives. Oh, girl, take that off. Ow, ow. And when you do it in that mail, oh my goodness, I'm gonna show you. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. That's my bread. That's toasted. My chicken is going gonna go on top of that. I even got a really good Havarti cheese to go on the bottom of that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it and place it on the bottom as soon as I finish tossing this pasta salad. I like a nice chunky pasta salad with a lot of garbage in it. Like, give me stuff. I got the broccoli and. Hey, Patty. It's okay. I just got started. You haven't missed a thing. Okay. I started at 7 tonight. I had to get some more vitamin D. So, I've got um, broccoli, banana peppers, onions, diced tomatoes, olives, broccoli, um, fresh corn that I cut off of the ear. Let me tell y'all. Yes. That's, that's how I'm going to do you. Okay, let me let me taste a little sample of this pasta salad. Mm. 
Mm. Hey, sunshine. That's my big sister, Cheryl. <laughs> Better late than never. Hi, Timothy. Mmm. My pasta salad. Mmm. You got to let the vegetables that you put, you got to let them marinate. Let them marinate in the dressing that you're going to use. Let me tell you, honey. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Alright, so I got my bread. I'm gonna get my um cheese to go on the bottom. Just a nice little um cracker barrel Havarti cheese. Cooking shears. Where's my cooking shears? Don't tell me I lost another pair. No! Oh my god. Oh, here they are. I told you, I um I rearranged that drawer and now I can't find a darn thing. But anyway. I got my Havarti cheese. Hi Sheena! That's my cousin Winnie. We winning up in here. Havarti cheese is so good. It's just not good to me. So I can't eat a lot of it. So I just got this little block and I'm going to shred just a little for my, um, for my sandwich. It's sandwich night if you're just joining us. It's, uh-uh, let me, where, where we go, where we go, where we go, um, there we go. Okay. So we're um we're just doing a a shredded barbecue chicken slider. I got some roasted carrots and onions that are gonna top that. I got a pasta salad that's gonna be my side. Well the carrots are my sides too, but you know. You know. Tread, tread, tread. Oh my goodness. So Havarti cheese is super soft. So when you're slicing it, just, just be careful. You may have to slice a little bit more than you intended because it's so soft. Okay, so I got some, some Havarti cheese. It's gonna go on the bottom because I'm gonna lay my my chicken on top now I told you that this is a meal hey Jeanette <laughs> hey Sheena um this is dinner for 20 bucks or less um, for your your game day parties or or Friday night if you don't feel like cooking a whole lot and you really don't want to order a pizza um this is what I decided to Lord I was so tempted to order a pizza today from my local pizzeria Joe Mama's now I wasn't trying to insult you the name of the place is Joe Mama's yes and it is so good but I know that um if I did that then I I'd probably be sleep over there on the couch and I wouldn't be <laughs> be able to do this live. 
So I'm thinking um, as the weather changes, the season changes, and we're about to go into, you know, that season where we fall back about doing the show instead of six at seven. What do you think? Seven o'clock, okay? Will y'all be here on time? Cause y'all know I don't wait when it's when it's on the dot, whether it's six o'clock or seven or whatever. Like I start on time. So I think um for daylight is it daylight saving time? Or just regular time, because I can't keep up. I can't. But anyway, um, I think that after this show, I'm going to do 7 o'clock. Ooh, we. Oh, my God. Oh, Havarti cheese is... You're the best around. Da -da 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 -all you down. You're the best. <laughs> that is good. That is good. I okay. I want. I need a carrots on one side because the the caramelized onions are gonna go on top of my chicken. Um. Barbecue chicken sliders tonight. I made my own barbecue sauce. I don't like using that bottle stuff, the jar, the whatever. Um, because my brother makes the best sauce. I'm, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just make our sauce. Let's not use that jar stuff. I'm waiting for him to bottle his stuff. He really needs to. Because it's so good. But in my, in my sauce, I'll show you what I did. It's not his. But it's going to have to work for the night. So in my sauce, I've got a cinnamon stick. Yeah. Cinnamon stick. Hey, Phyllis. Um, there is hot sauce, red wine vinegar, rice vinegar, garlic powder, chili garlic paste, ketchup, um, some spicy horse, horse reddish mustard, a little bit of honey, some Texas peat, and some syrup. And that's what I got. Alright, it's super spicy. Oh god. Mm-hmm. That is spicy. But I don't mind because I know I'm just putting a little olive oil on my carrots. So I turned the griddle all the way down so that it would just kind of you can't, you can't see it. You can't there it is. <laughs> Those are my carrots, my onions. That's gonna go on top of my chicken. All right. Now, I told you my grandfather's favorite saying is short visits make long friendships. So I ain't gonna be before you long. I'm not. Um, let me get some more of this pasta salad, child. The bomb. Put this back over here. I'm going to throw that in the fridge. Get some tomatoes to go on top of my, um, my chicken. It's kind of like a burger, but not really. There we go. Hey. All right. Uh, where's my salt? Salt, please. I don't know what I did with it. I'll find it. But I, all I did was put some um, diced tomatoes on the griddle 
because I want them kind of warm. I want it like a little, a warm salad on top of the, um, oh, here's my salt. Some pink salt. You know it. You know it. honey happy anniversary to you and my girl Charlotte oh, love you both all right so this is my Publix chicken that costs $5.99 I'm telling y'all we cooking for under $20 tonight well $20 $6 chicken your little spices, that bread I bought at the bakery was $2. Um, the pasta that I used was $2. I bought some broccoli for $2. The other spices I used for the barbecue sauce, I don't know. I can't really count up that cost. But here we got our little chicken. Hey, little chickadee. All right. So all we're going to do is just kind of pull that chicken apart. I, and and I'm on, I'm going to attempt anyway to do that right now. Okay, just bear with me, cause uh, it's a live show, remember? And live ish happens on this show. Y'all know it. So Trina, I was telling um. My friends that I think I'm going to do the show with the time changing and everything. And you can tell that the time is changing. I'm going to start doing the show at 7 o'clock. That gives everybody on Friday a chance to get home, unwind. Y'all can eat and not watch the show and be all hungry. And Deidre. Ah! Hey, Deidre. I love you, too. I miss your face, girl. That's my chicken. So all we gonna do is shred it up, okay? Oh my God! Let me. When I tell you my family is so freaking amazing, what? Oh my gosh! They are tuned in. They are joining me. I'm gonna just tear the chicken up, all right? So I got some a leg here. What I don't want in my slider is the skin. So I'm not gonna use the skin. All right, I'm going to just do the meat. Now, Gordon Ramsay wouldn't like this, but the hell with Gordon tonight. I'm going to just, <laughs> I'm going to just break it up. Okay. All right. See that skin coming off of there? That's, that's what you want. All right. And you want to take. Take the skin off like that and just tear it up. All right, now I can turn this down and I'm gonna move this over to this side. Y'all see, I don't want you to think I'm hiding that from me. I ain't hiding nothing, I just I'm going to take huge chunks of this meat and put it in this bowl like so. Oh, y'all, this chicken costs six dollars. I, um, If you can cut, call, I don't eat fancy every night now. I like a little fancy dish once in a while. I really do. But, you know, this ain't a pay week. And I needed to make sure <laughs> that I stretched my dollar. So, um, a good old rotisserie chicken from your local grocery store is perfectly in order all right so let's get that together all right chicken fork fork shred Ooh, 
sweet. I love a rotisserie chicken, honey. Especially from, oh gosh, they just do it so. Yes. Shred it up. I'm going to eat that piece. I'm hungry. I've been waiting to eat. Okay. Now, I am going to, mm, I'm going to put my sides on a plate here. Uh-oh. I lost my, um. Uh, <laughs> Yay for a shoestring budget. My big sister, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Because right now, like, all I've got is a shoestring. Like, that is my budget. That is it. So, we're doing this. Yes, we are. Um, Get my tomatoes. I, I want them kind of separate because I'm putting them on on the sandwich at different times. You like football, college football. This is a great meal to make during that time. Have some folks over, get yourself some nice little slider buns. In my case, I got some little mini dinner rolls from Publix. Carrots. Caramelized onions and tomato. All right. I'm going to sit that aside. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. 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 That is nice. That is so nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my, um, my chicken... Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, Miss LaDedra Smith. This is a Super Bowl Sunday meal. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm going to put my, my pulled chicken up there. I didn't cook the chicken. I bought it from Publix. All right? So, wherever your uh, favorite grocer sells rotisserie chicken, go there, honey. Go there. And get your get yourself a nice little chicken. Turn this up. A little olive oil. Now they you know they don't season the inside of their birds, so I got to put a little salt on it, child. They don't be seasoning the inside of their birds. A little salt. Mm-hmm. Like that. Let that just come up. And then we're gonna put it on. I ain't gonna be before y'all long, I promise you. I'm starving, which is why I'm eating this pasta salad that I made. Mm. Yes. And we're going to top. Now, I'll show you what to do with the... Uh, mm. Ooh, that was good. It was a little sweet. I put some banana peppers in there too, but that little bit of sweetness, that little sweet hot in that pasta salad. Y'all, everything. Everything to me. Uh-huh. Get my chicken on there. Oh. Alright. So, you know I, I I can't do a show that French toes back there. <laughs> uh, Miss Sanders Gordon. Miss Gordon. Gordon Sanders. Gordon. I might have to bring that French toes back to y'all, baby. That's my girlfriend from Allenbrook. 
You too much. Oh, boy, boy. I've already got my oven warm, so I'll I'll get that on in just a little bit. But um, while that's warming up, you know, I have to tell y'all a little bit about my week because I'm the queen of overshare. Yeah. Um, so I went to, so our city, the city of Charlotte, um, is attempting to do this deep dive into DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And um, this past week, I went to an On the Table sponsored by our city. It's called On the Table. And what happens is you go to a location, they have them all around the city, for discussions about um, things related to diversity, equity, inclusion. And this particular um, session was about home. H-O-M-E. H-O-M-E. And it was in the Clanton neighborhood. Not really right down the road from where I live. And they have an awesome neighborhood coalition of neighbors who advocate for their neighborhood. Now, they're not the only one. My friend, my brother, my dear heart, Jamal Kennard, also is a part of a neighborhood coalition um, in Lakeview. And, and they do much of the same. But what it is, it's an attempt to get our neighborhoods back together to the point uh, where we are now talking about what is good for each other. Um, how to lift each other up and how to advocate and also provide resources for our neighbors. Um, this is not just for the homeless population, but people who have lived in Charlotte for a very long time. And I had a wonderful discussion with some neighbors from Clanton about what is home? What is home? What makes home home to you? What, um, who belongs in Charlotte? Oh, I wish I had gotten the paper. I left it on the other side. I don't wanna leave you again. Who belongs in Charlotte or in any neighborhood for that matter? What makes it home to you and how do you find a sense of belonging in the city you live. And I tell you, the discussion was deep. Um, it, it brought up a lot of things to me. <laughs> because for me, home is, this chicken is nice and warm, it's getting shredded. And that's what I want. And then I'm going to pour the sauce on it just a little bit. But for me, home is, and you get to join me in my kitchen every week for the past 10 weeks. 10 weeks I've done this show. And it's a stretch for me. Because I'm very comfortable being in my own little bubble. I don't, don't want to bother nobody. I don't want to play with nobody. Don't bother me. Leave me alone. But for me to do a show like this and invite you into my home, into my kitchen is huge for me. So for me, home is where I allow love in. Um, it's not a big space. It's a small studio apartment here on the south side. It's all I can afford right now. But I love it. I absolutely love home. And when I moved here, and I think I moved to Charlotte in 2007, and that has had its twists and turns and 
bumps and bruises, literally. And now I'm able to call this space my home. I turn on the lights and they come on because I pay my bill. Thank God that he has provided me a means to pay the bill. Um, I marvel every, every day, every week, every month that I'm here in this space and that he has allowed me to share love in my space and to open it up to friends. So that's home to me. Um, but home just doesn't stop there. Where you allow love in. Thank you, Jen. Jennifer Hannibal Felder has tuned in. That's my realtor, y'all. She don't know it yet, but she about to help me find a house, Jeff. <laughs> and she just celebrated a birthday the other day. Yeah, it for me, home is where I allow love in. And I can't. I can't allow anything else. So if, if you bout anything else, foolishness, drama, otherwise, you can't come here. You you simply cannot. Um, I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the time for it. And it's just not. All I'm doing right now is pouring some sauce on my chicken. My sh Oh, Lord. Okay. That's okay. Oh, I meant for that to happen. Not really, but it did. Okay, so I'm pouring barbecue sauce. Homemade. This ain't no sweet baby rays, honey. This is my sauce on my own chicken. I'm not going to drown it in sauce. I'm not drowning it. But I want it to sit there for a minute. All right, so when I let it sit there, I'm just going to kind of toss it around in the sauce a little bit. If you're just joining me, this is a quick meal, $20, $20 or less. Uh, hey, Rochella. Oh, you made it tonight, babe. Thank you. My sister. Oh. Uh, Oh, those carrots are good. <laughs> Tonight is a quick weekend meal, Friday night meal, $20 or less. I'm doing a pulled chicken, barbecue chicken sliders. Okay? So I got that going. Got my um, Havarti cheese. Havarti. Mm -hmm. Havarti cheese is on my toasted. Hey, my cousin Kelvin. Thank you, baby. On my toasted slider buns. And then I'm going to commence to put my chicken on top. Then I'm going to put my, um, to my onions on top, then my tomatoes on top, and, and then we're going to eat. But of course, because I'm the queen of overshare, had to tell y'all about my, about my wheat. Now, the, the really beautiful thing about, um, engaging in... Ooh, with my pockets. There you go. Engaging in an exercise like on the table, Charlotte. Let me tell you. Absolutely awesome. My girlfriend who used to be with the organization I work for now works for the city. And this was her baby. This is her project on the table. And she brought it to this neighborhood so that neighbors could have dialogue about home and what home means to us and why is there so much um disparity when it comes to defining home for certain people in certain echelons 
Now, I don't want to use the G word, but I will because it is a dirty word. But gentrification, yeah, we talked about that too. Um, hey, Martha. Hey, Skeeter. Did you do On the Table also, Skeeter? Oh, my gosh. I loved it. I absolutely, I, I wanted to become more, more than a conversation and more than just getting data points. I wanted I want on the table conversations to actually turn into giving power back to the ones that came before us. There are people who have lived in Charlotte for, oh gosh, years and years and years. And now they are being priced out of Charlotte because they can't afford to live here in this beautiful city. Um, so we talked about that. We also talked about um, people like us who work in helping professions or in teaching or nursing or whatever. Mine happens to be a teaching slash social work type helping profession. And it's hard. You make too much to get, um, to qualify for food stamps, but it's like, you, <laughs> you, you could be drowning. You could be drowning. Skeeter said, Skeeter is, is, um, my play play boyfriend from Stillman College. I know, don't blush. Um, my second year participating in them. Oh, good for you. Some on the on, on the table pro conversations lead to projects, and I hope, and I guess that's my point. I want it to lead to more than just projects. I want it to lead to actually opening the doors for people to feel like they own a little piece of our city. They have a say in what happens. They understand what's happening when we have these school board meetings and we have these city meetings. I want, I want people to understand the full gamut and to really take on that mantle. Um, Lord have mercy. Y'all about to, don't do this to me. We got to eat, child. I'm going to put my chicken onto the sliders. Lord, y'all, Lord, if you have an opportunity, I guess that's the point, because the point is, Skeeter, and everybody that's, that's watching, isn't the point for us to have dialogue with people who don't always look like us, and who is easy to agree with people, or to allow people to have a say when they think like you? But what if they disagree? What if they have um, a slightly different opinion? They want to bring something different to the table. Will you still allow those folks to have their voice? That is the point. So around the country, I'm so glad to hear that these things are... And Macon, Georgia, Skeeter, I had no idea. I had no idea, but I'm glad. It's needed and we gotta we gotta move these conversations to some real action. We got a lot of people in Charlotte um, that are a part of our houseless community. And um Something seems a little bit wrong to me about that. What do we do next? Now, what do we do? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So right now, I am putting my, I'm missing some tops. This should not be. Uh oh, 
<laughs> we gonna make it work though. And my little um, barbecue chicken sliders with my barbecue sauce, homemade. Ain't no sweet baby rays, ain't no Heinz. This is the real deal, okay? And now I've got some, I'm gonna do me a little sesame seed bun. So I'm gonna do um, my butter sauce. Uh, I, I know the glare is kind of funky. So I'm gonna just do a little of that on top of the bun. Each bun, I've got six on here. I need somebody to join me for dinner. When y'all coming to have dinner with me? This don't make no sense for this this thick chick to be eating like this. And, and don't nobody come and, and eat with her. Y'all gotta come and have dinner, child. Or snack. Snacks, please. When I go, oh, snap a lapple. Um, so yeah, so that was my experience this week with an on the table discussion here in Charlotte. Shout out to my sister, my friend. I'm so glad that you are working your gift and your passion, Miss Nichelle Wilson. Nichelle, like Nichelle Nichols from Star Trek. Remember the black lady with the really short skirt? She named after her. Mm -hmm. Nichelle Wilson, <laughs> um, who now works for the city of Charlotte, um, helped to facilitate this discussion. And I think that it is a long time coming. And I know, no, I ain't going to say it. A change going to come, though. A change is going to come. So hopefully there will be more discussions like this in the future. Because Lord knows I enjoyed that. Um, and <laughs> you got to be ready to disagree with your neighbors. And maybe not see the, the same things that your neighbors see. But it's okay. Because... Everyone should be allowed an opportunity. This is Havarti cheese. To have a voice. So I thank you. I met some really cool people um, at this table. They serve dinner and you sit at a dinner table with people you probably hadn't met before. And you have a discussion and they put a topic out there and you discuss. Ours was, what is home to you? What is home? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put some of my junk up. Y'all mind. Don't mind me, okay? Don't mind me now. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm. When you roast those carrots or put them on top of the griddle with just a little bit of seasoning. Y'all, I did not season that carrot, those carrots to death. I did not. Um, they were the regular, the little, um, let me show you. Oh, the chips, the cat, the dip, the dip chips. See that? The little ridges in it. Toss that in some olive oil, a little salt, and some basil. Put it on top of the griddle with some olive oil. And that was it. You don't need to do too much. Don't over-season your food. Lord, we got high blood pressure and cholesterol issues enough as it is. And Lord knows I didn't make things better by pouring that butter sauce on top of that bun. But you'll thank me later. Yes, you will. Mmm. Oh. Rochella. 
I didn't do a salad tonight. Well, I did. Excuse me. I did a... I did a pasta salad tonight. I did a pasta salad. So I did, um... It was a regular pasta salad. I probably spent $5 to make the pasta salad. $5 on chicken. No, $6 on chicken. Um... I told y'all it's a meal under 20 bucks. Have a group of friends over, make some drinks, pour some wine. What's that on my face? What's that? What's and uh have a good time. Now, I'll admit, my pasta salad isn't the best I've ever had. I had. Somebody used to make some pasta salad that was real good. But, in my pasta salad is chock full of everything. I got fresh corn that I cut off the cob in here. Is that my mother? My mother is watching. Oh, my God. Hi, Mommy. I cut up some uh, cucumber. I've got some capers in here, some red onion, and some other stuff. Lots of other stuff. A little Parmigiano Reggiano. Mmm. I'm gonna be too full to eat when it's time to fix my plate. But I got to show you the finished product, okay? Mm -hmm. Royal. Oh, you're going to like this. It's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Wipe my stove down. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still thinking about that question. What is home? What is home? I don't know. What is home to you guys? What is home to you? It's a lot of different things for many people, but uh, I know that my little home is my peace, and I hope that wherever you call home is your peace too, because you deserve that. bless you for a second okay hold on i'm about to bless you boo oh, now y'all know i ain't gonna be able to eat all this food this is crazy i, I need for y'all to come and and I can't do a lot of like fry, French fries and stuff like that. That's why I got the um, the carrots. It's a healthier alternative for me. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I really, really am. Hold on. Oh, nope. I don't need to do that with my um my ramekin. Give me a little ramekin with some pasta. Boo. Mm. 
Boom shakalaka. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I know I don't need this pasta. But honey. I haven't had pasta in a long time. So I think. <laughs> That's dinner. Oh, do I need to change the lighting? I think I do. Hang on. Can you see? Okay. So it's shredded barbecue chicken sliders. Oh, yes. Look at that. I got my Havarti cheese on the bottom. Got my uh, caramelized onions on top with my barbecue chicken on the under that. Caramelized onions and a little pasta salad. Get back on there. Get in there. Get in there. And that's it. That's dinner. Now, what you doing for dinner? Huh? <laughs> $20 and I think I left with two dollars. I might have spent 18 But this was a, a nice little meal um, To create on a Friday night dinner in a pinch Super cheap if you're on a budget like me Hmm Mm. Yo! Yo! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah! Yeah, I'm crushing on me right now. For real, for real. Mm, 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 mm. That sauce is sweet and spicy. That bread is so soft. The caramelized onions came right through, right underneath on time. And I got a little piece of Havarti cheese. Now, the thing about that Havarti cheese, it's real soft. You don't need a whole lot. Um. Oh, my goodness. And it's not a pungent cheese, so it's not super strong. It doesn't overpower anything that you're going to add it to. It's just a little, uh, just a little, uh. honey. I'm going to eat with my fingers because it's so good. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Again. You don't have to spend a lot of money to eat good-ish. You don't. You can make it beautiful. Make it yours. Make it special, make it spectacular. But most of all, most of all, honey, you can make it home. Mmm. You like how I brought that back? Yes. Make it home. Make it taste like somebody loved you, baby. Put that pat of the bell on it. Okay. I want to thank you for tuning in tonight to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Be sure to catch me here from this night forward. We're going to do 7 o'clock on Friday. 7 o'clock on Friday. So be sure to look out for the promo. Uh, and also be sure to check out my website where you can watch past videos and check out some of the other recipes that I've done at www.com sugarpearlsonline.com. You can also go to YouTube at 
Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S, or check me out on IG, which is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I look forward to seeing y'all tune in every single week. Man, oh man, am I blessed to have you guys as friends, family, and watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Tell a friend, make them tune in too, child, and make them tune into my uh, Instagram page and YouTube and subscribe to that, all right? Until next time, I just want to let you know that I love you.